Before we set up our analysis, let's do our basic data quality check. I'll use Analyze, Distribution, and let's put every one of our columns into Y and click OK. Now first, looking at the ratings, we don't have any outliers visible, and the distribution looks OK. We have equal numbers of endorsers, so unknown and celebrity, and equal numbers of people in novice and expertise. Now, for the between subject factor, this might be something we purposefully did. We actually maybe recruited subjects, half of which were novices and half of which were experts. That would be ideal for the analysis that we're doing, but it's not necessary. As far as endorsers, because this was a within subject factor, we assume that we have complete data here. That is, each subject made one rating for unknown and one for celebrity. So we have two ratings for each subject, so we should have an equal number of observations that are unknown and celebrity in the data set. Now remember, expertise is a between subject factor. So if I click on novice here, notice that only some subjects will count in the novice category. Similarly, if I click expert, the other subjects will count in that category. So you can already tell that expertise is a between subject factor because not all subjects count in both of them. Whereas for the endorser, for unknown and celebrity, each subject has at least one observation for each of these. So that's one way to tell the difference between the type of factor these are. I've actually labeled them in my data set just for clarity. Now this is something you can do in your own data, especially when you're first starting out. It's actually handy to put a little b if you know that's a between subject factor and a w if you know that's a within subject factor. That just makes it easier when you're actually setting up your analysis. But again, we've checked over our data quality. It seems just fine. So let's proceed to set up our analysis. I'll again use the add-in, so the repeated measures, full factorial design, mixed model. We'll set it up first by putting rating as our Y response. Now our within subject factor or factors here will just be one. We'll have endorser as our within subject factor. Now we do have a between subject factor in this data set. So we'll stick expertise as our between subject factor. Notice we're not going to designate a cross between these two. The add-in will do that for us because we've measured individuals who are experts and novices on both of the within subject levels. So we'll be able to estimate an interaction between these two. That's actually a really neat thing about our analysis here is we'll actually be able to see whether the endorser effect, celebrity versus unknown, is different for experts and for novices. Finally, we'll designate our subject ID as subject number, and we'll just click that into that role. So here it is, our model is completely set up, and we can just click OK, and the add-in will take care of developing the model, including the nesting.